All right, guys. As some of you know, I've been waiting for this optic. I uh, ordered it about nine or 10 days ago from Keystone Tactical. Dealt with Steve over there. It was a great experience for me. Uh, he, you know, came through with his word, told me what he could do, and he came through spot on. Can't say enough about it. I will definitely be dealing with him in the future. We're real excited to have him on board. Once again, that's Keystone Tactical. I wanted my fellow PMHQers to be with me when I unbox this thing so you can get a feel for the packaging and the overall experience. I know everybody gets excited when you get something new in the mail. I got a message at about 10 o'clock that it was delivered to the post office and I had to work until 2.30. So, might have uh, exceeded the speed limit getting home. Anyways, it comes with the user manual. I can see already it looks like this thing was moving around and shipping at some point. I'm not real excited about that. Oh, even the bag is a little bit tarnished up. Um, that's not cool. But we'll see if there's any damage. Hopefully not. I don't want to use customer service right out of the gate if possible. So we will set the actual scope itself off to the side. Continue on with packaging. It's just your standard foam insert packaging. It looks like we've got a couple of Allen wrenches and a battery for the illuminated reticle. We've got the dust cloth. We've got a whole drawer full of those. We've got a little note here from Athlon Optics with their customer service number at the bottom. I'm really hoping that I do not have to use that. Moving on. Walk you guys through with my first thoughts as I open this thing up. As you can see, there is some scuffs on the packaging. Uh, you know, see if that translated into scuffs on the actual optics, optics itself. Get that out of the way. I don't see any damage whatsoever. So I'm excited about that. My first thoughts, good weight, the finish looks fantastic, glass is a little bit dusty, but that's to be expected. We'll just go over some of the quick specs here, and then I will go out and look through it and give you guys my opinion on it, if that means anything to you. So the price point on these, I've seen them anywhere from $16.99 to $2,000. Uh, you know, that kind of all depends on where you get it, how long you're willing to wait, and who you know, really. 34 millimeter tube, 56 millimeter objective. The weight on this, they say, is 35.8 ounces. I'm not going to take the time to weigh that. Yeah, there you go, 35.8, feels just right on. Length of this thing, they call it 14.3. We'll make sure that the focus is all the way in here, okay. The length on this is 14 and 1 8 inch. That will change a little bit as you adjust your focus. The knobs feel good, I would, you know, I would like a little bit more to grab onto on the knobs myself. Not a big deal, I'm not freaking out about that. The clicks are, they're definitely positive clicks. There's not a lot of retention to them. They feel good, I'm happy with that. Uh, there's 33 mils of adjustment and elevation, 18 in windage. Looks like it's 10 mils per rotation. Yeah. 10 mils per rotation. They say 33 mils in elevation, so we're starting at 
right there. One time around. Ten. Two times around. Twenty. And around. We're at thirty. One. Two. Three. Cool. Thirty-three. This is a zero stop. I haven't set them. I'm not going to do that until the rifle is built and I install this on the rifle. My overall first impression is it's it's a pretty nice piece of glass, honestly. I don't know about, you know, I don't think you're getting a $3,000 scope for $1,600 or anything. I think probably the price point spot on, although I haven't looked through it. I haven't operated it on a firearm yet. But my overall impression so far is is well built piece of glass. Four and a half to twenty nine power. I'm excited to go out and look at the reticle through this. I don't think that you can ever get a true idea through a video camera on what the glass actually looks like. So I'm not even going to bother with that yet. Maybe once we get our uh, our setup done outside there we'll go ahead and mount it to the bench and do a tracking test and maybe a low light test but I just wanted to make this quick video and and just give you my first impressions of this glass I, I like it you know I'm, I'm real excited I don't feel like I got ripped off I was a little concerned with the packaging when I saw those scuffs but it hasn't translated to the glass at all or the optic at all and I'm, I'm happy about that this has the APLR front focal plane this is in mils. I do know that the reticle is 0.2 mils for every hash mark. I'm sure that if you've been looking at this, you've already seen the reticle and what it looks like. I'm not going to bother with taking it outside right now and, and all that stuff. I will, however, go out and look through it myself and come back and give you my results of that. Okay, by the magic of television, I'm back. It's a super bright day outside. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna say it. This is good, it's got good glass in it. Um, I've got a spot that I've ranged out here exactly at one mile on this hill back behind my house and even on this bright day, hot day too, 92 degrees outside, it, it, was, it was really clear. I wouldn't say it's on the level with uh, the Beast or the Collis or you know Schmidt obviously but it's good glass. I think for the money, I think you're getting a good a good optic here. I really do. My first impressions with this thing without mounting it, shooting through it and everything is is a, it was well worth the wait and I'm happy that I went with it. So if you guys have any other questions on this thing, feel free to click below anything that I haven't covered. Uh, you know, you guys know where to find us. precisionmarksmanshipheadquarters.com and all the social media sites. So until next time, happy shooting and God bless.